These team builder cards might be some of the best value cards we have gotten in Madden Ultimate Team in a while. When they first announced the stream about these cards and how you can get them, I thought, yo, there's so many good choices that we won't be able to have because at first they only mentioned you can get these cards via solo challenges. You play the solo challenges, you pick what two players you want from whatever team and you get them in your roster. And I was like, yo, how are we gonna go about getting some of these other players? I thought it might be like multiple solo string sequences where you're grinding like the Cowboys, you're grinding the Falcons just to go ahead and get these players. But as it turns out, EA was like, nah, nah, we're not doing that. Spend some coins to get these players in our exchange set. And it actually is something that I'm really excited about because it allows you to go ahead and spend some of your Madden Ultimate Team coins or exchange a lot of the Nat cards you receive for playing solo challenges to go ahead and get these players on your roster. And there are about five players on offense that I want to spotlight for you to go ahead and pick up for your Madden Ultimate Team. These five players will improve your offense and will be serviceable until you find somebody to replace them. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video. But before that, can you guys do me this favor? Smack a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new. I've been live streaming all weekend. I need you guys to come check it out. We have a lot of fun pulling a lot of packs and I don't want you guys to miss it out. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to get notified whenever I do go live and upload the video so you can go ahead and enjoy all this Texas content. As I mentioned earlier, there are about two ways to go about getting these team builder players. You go over here to the Team Infinity Solos, Team Builder Series 1. And once you go ahead and play, I believe what it says, play through an NFL season with 16 full game challenges, earn a 84 overall team builder players, and that to bolster your lineup. And then so you see affinity details for more. So yeah, 30, so 16 games. So that's gonna be a grand total of 80 stars. So 80 stars to go ahead and get yourself a 84 overall on offense and 84 overall defense from whatever team you want and you'll save coins doing it that way the other way it's much easier but also a little more pricey get over here to the team affinity sets go to team builder right here series one first one there and as you can see to get an 84 overall team builder fantasy pack series one is going to require you to collect 280 to 82 overall leads as well as any 77 to 79 overall gold cards so Right now, 77 is going for around at minimum like 7,000 coins. You can get it for cheaper than that, obviously, if you're sniping or you're, somebody's posting it's like five, but typically 7,000 coins is where it hovers around. So seven times six, about 42,000 coins. And in terms for the 80 to 82s, 80 overalls are going for like eight, the 8,900, like 9,000 coins. So 18,000 plus 42, it's about 60,000 coins to go ahead and knock this set out. If this gets down to around 30, like half that, like these low tier gold cards, like just drop in price or the elite cards drop in price, these things will be great budget cards. But right now paying 50 to 60,000 coins per one, they're really good cards, but I really would not consider them budget. All right, that's enough talking about how to do the sets and how to get these cards. Let's go ahead and get into the five offensive players that I recommend you guys pick up to improve your Madden Ultimate team. So right now, my list does not have any quarterbacks on it. No Daniel Jones, no Sam Darnold, and no Teddy Bridgewater. Out of those three, I would choose Teddy Two Gloves. Not being a biased Panther fan, just saying Teddy Two Gloves because he has the he's the only quarterback with at least 80 throw short, throw mid, throw deep. I have no idea if that's a threshold, but that's what it was last year in terms of pass accuracies. Whereas like Daniel Jones, for example, you guys can see, he has good speed, 81, good throw power, 87. He's solid, but he does not have good throw accuracies at all. 79 medium, 79 deep, and... Uh, he has 83 throw shorts. He throw check downs the entire time. It's a good quarterback to have, but if it's like if it's anything like last year where you need at least 80 throw accuracy to be accurate consistently down the field, 79 medium and 79 deep are gonna cost you a lot of frustration. So I would avoid that card. Basically, it's like that uh, the the epics Baker Mayfield last year. Really good card, but just did not have the accuracy to be a long term quarterback for most teams. Now that brings us to our running back situation, and there are three in the game. We got DeAndre Swift, the Lions, we got Cam Akers of the Rams, and we got David Montgomery of the Chicago Bears. The best running back out of the batch is gonna be this Cam Akers, just because he is a guy that's out here with 88 speed, 91 excel, and 89 agility with its 82 change of direction. This guy is not here to break tackles at all. He is just here to get the ball and scoop, man. So 88 speed out here early on in this year's game is gonna be very important. And with everybody saying online right now, it's pretty 
hard to stop the run. You can go ahead and get somebody that's faster to outrun these guys' users since on defense it feels like everybody's running while they're in quicksand. So having a guy on offense that is going to be a nice speedster is somebody I would recommend you guys end up picking up for your roster over the guys like DeAndre Swift and David Montgomery. So check out this Cam Akers for those looking for a nice backup running back role to put behind Adrian Peterson. Uh, and have a nice like power back plus a speed back combination out there and not having to spend too much coins getting guys like Moster, who's going to be very expensive to power up. Next up, we got the wide receivers, and they showed out this year. Man, it's like the first year we got some really good receivers in Madden with low overalls that have like really good catching and really good speed. Like, I'm, I'm excited about this year because usually in the past, we get guys with good speed but can't catch. We get guys with good catching but no speed. But now we're, got, we're starting to get some hybrids out here, and I love it. So we got receiver-wise, we got Michael Pittman Jr., Justin Jefferson, Jerry Judy, Traquan Smith, Kendrick Bourne, and Marquise Lee. Out of those, what, five, six receivers? There's two that stand out above the rest. One of them is going to be this Justin Jefferson of LSU, I believe, right, with the Vikings. This guy... He, if he, it's, his card's really solid, man. 88 speed at six foot one, with 85 jumping, 83 catching, with the 85 spec catch. He can't really run routes to save his life. Like eight, 79 route running short, medium, and 78 route running deep. But in terms of a guy that's a big body at 202 pounds at six one with 88 speed, this guy is a solid pickup to pair out there with your Larry Fitzgerald and your Andre Johnson. If you can't afford like uh, the, what's that boy's name, um, the Tyree Kill. The other receiver on this list is going to be none other than Jerry Judy. This guy is basically a clone of Justin Jefferson. Not as, he doesn't weigh as much, but still 6 foot 188 speed with 79 catching, but just plus ones to the short and medium, and I think plus one to the deep route running. The only difference that I'm looking at here is going to be catching. So I'm pretty sure that 79 catching is like not a threshold, but 80 is, because for some reason, people are saying this card does drop open passes. So if I'm going to rank the two, I'd probably go with Justin Jefferson over Jerry Judy, but you, can, you can't go wrong with either or. I would try it out, see if he's dropping passes for you. If he is, you can always sell the card and then go ahead and buy the other receivers. But these two are the best receivers out of the team builders and two of the best cards out of the team builders, at least on the offensive side of the ball. So the last position is going to be tight ends. Yeah, there's three here. We got Jason Witten, Lake Jarwin, and we got Johnny Smith. There's no way in hell Jason Witten is on this list. As well as there's no way we have linemen on this list because I'm looking at the linemen, left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, and I'm just not seeing anybody that stands out enough for me to want to pick up. So there are some linemen that have like good pass blocking and no run blocking and great run blocking, but no pass blocking. But I kind of don't know if those guys are worth it right now. I got to figure out what is important in terms of ratings. Does strength matter? Does weight play a factor? Um, does pass blocking finesse matter again this year, or is it all going to be pass blocking? So we I, we got to do some testing first. We pick any linemen up because as of right now, it seems like oh, besides in solo challenges, you can run the ball online no matter who your lineman is. But if you're playing solo challenges, it seems the ratings matter a lot more, which makes it a little, it's just, just crazy to me. But anyway, tight end wise, you got this Jonu Smith and Blake Jarwin. Yeah, nobody did Jason Witten at all. Not even Raider fans did Jason Witten. So Jonu Smith is amazing, right? He is a, what, six foot three tight end, 85 speed with 81 or 84 catching. And then we can go ahead and look at this Blake Jarwin out here, who's also a beast. He's six foot five, 81 speed with only seven around, which isn't crazy, but still 86 catching. So we got two dudes who are going to eat this year going over the middle of the field because users are going to be nerfed, right? You pretty much can, can't jump without lurker. That's what they established. And a lot of these guys are slow. So. You can get these guys on some deep crosses, on some quick slants, on some even streaks for that matter. If the user is not like on your hip the entire time, you can complete that pass. And so I feel like early on in the middle of the field, it's going to be a place you can attack. So why not get two tight ends that are going to be able to not only go up and get the ball, but also outrun most of the like linebackers in Madden. So John Usmith and Blake Jarn complete the five. And those are the best five offensive team builders in Madden Ultimate Team that you guys can pick up to improve your team. Did I miss anybody? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's been your boy Texas, and we'll be dropping the defensive video later on today as well, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one, baby. Peace. This ain't money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found something.